Welcome to BTEC Revision. In today's lesson, we're looking at magnetomotive force. By the end, we should be able to calculate the magnetomotive force, number of coils, and the current. What is a magnetomotive force? It is a force that establishes a magnetic field in a magnetic circuit and can be calculated with this equation. Magnetomotive force equals the number of turns times the current. And the short form is Fm equals Ni. The units are for amps. The units for current is amps. The number of turns doesn't really have a unit, but we can consider it to be turns. For example, we could have one turn or 10 turns of a coil. And therefore, the magnetomotive force is going to have a unit of ampere turns, or 80. The unit for current is amps. That's capital A, or amperes. And number of turns doesn't really have a unit, but we can consider it to be turns. For example, we could have one turn or 10 turns. Therefore, magnetomotive force is going to have a unit of ampere turns. So that's AT for short. Now, let's look at an example. A coil of... Now, let's look at an example. A coil with 200 turns carries a current of 2.5 amperes. Calculate the magnetomotive force in the coil. We can start by writing down our equation. Fm equals Ni. We know the number of coils is n, so that's 200, times the current of 2.5 amps. And that will give us a value of 500. And the unit is ampere turns. Now pause the video here and attempt this exam question. We can start by writing down our equation. Fm equals ni. Since it's asking to calculate the number of turns, we can rearrange this for n, which is fm divided by i. We have our fm value, which is 2, but we don't have i. Um, but we do have voltage and resistance. So we can think of an equation that would link these together. That would be v equals ir. If you rearrange this for i, that would give us a voltage divided by resistance, which is 5 divided by 5, which is 1. Therefore, we have 2 for the magnetomotive force divided by a current, which is 1. And this gives us a value of 2. And that's the end of the lesson. If you'd like to boost your grades, visit us at btechrevision.com with lots more resources. See you next lesson. Thank you.